morning students uh, you had the chance to join my virtual lessons uh, before starting this activity so you have not done so uh, do pay attention to this video okay i'm going to repeat what i've covered during virtual lesson okay, today's lesson is on measurement uh, in the area of volume so <clears throat> before we even move, uh, move on to the concept of volume i'd like to you know um, recap on some of the the facts that uh, we need to know on uh, 3D objects. First and foremost, when you are given a, a box like this, okay, so um, things that we need to know, okay, you see all the lines that join all the corners together, we actually call them the edge, they are the edges of a uh, 3D object, okay, and then what about the corners, you know, all the corners, all the sharp pointed areas, Corners are actually known as the vertices. In fact, uh, in, in the lessons uh, to come, you will be required to know this. And of course, one other thing that I did not touch on this video is actually the faces. Basically, the faces are the ones that is facing you. You know, I can flip them around. So this is actually a rectangular face. It's a square face, so on and so forth. Okay, next part. Okay, the other thing that we need to know, uh, what, you, what you have given on uh, this page, uh, is uh, the net of an object. Okay, this is a net. Net is like the skeleton of an object. Okay, when you cut it open uh, along the uh, edges, so you actually get the um, quote unquote the skeleton of an object. So whenever you say a net of an object, it means that a three D object is being cut open, uh, and and you have the basic shapes that uh, that are put together to form the um, the object itself. So first thing first, we need to know, you know, uh, how uh, how big is one meter cube? Uh, just just for you know uh, information sake, you know, one meter cube is basically one meter, you know, one meter by one meter by one meter. So that is a space, uh, not a very very big space, but uh, uh, roughly know you know um, the refrigerator that you have at home is like what is stated in the example here. It's about two meter cube. Okay, it's about two meter cube. So um, I'd like you to you know make a guess uh, or to decide what you no know, the, the volume of each of these items given here whether it's uh, less than one meter cube about one meter cube or more than one meter cube okay so I have given you my my answers later on okay what you can do is pause the video complete the activity and then you can compare to yours. Okay, so a tent is usually is more than one meter cube because you need a few people staying in there. Classroom will be more than that. A milk crate will be less than that. A toddler's pool well, should be less than one meter cube, you know, because we don't want the, the toddler to drown inside. A uh, cubby house, you should be more than one meter cube. A food box is less than one meter cube. Washing machine is about one meter cube. TV should be less than one meter cube, lunch box less than one meter cube, and barbecue is about one meter cube. Okay, so next, uh, you're supposed to find the volume of all these uh, uh, buildings. So I will do the first one for you. As we all know, that the volume uh, of an object is actually length times width times height. Uh, we have done this before, and I'm sure uh, you're familiar with it. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the first one, I'll show it to you. So to get a volume is basically length times width times height, which is 6 meters by 4 meters by 10 meters. So 6 times 4 is 24, 24 times 10 is 210, I'm oh, sorry, 240 meters cube. Okay, the unit is important. Alright, so I'll, I will let you do part B and C on your own in the, um, in, in the student book. And this one is a good thinking question. They say how many 50 cm by 50 cm by 50 cm boxes can be fitted can be uh, fitted into this cubic meter some people will say oh first I find the volume of the, the, the big box and then after that uh, I find the volume of the the, the small box and then after I, I divide accordingly uh, in reality we don't do that so I'm going to teach you the logical uh, reasoning method okay so as we know that the length width and height is all 100 cm I gotta ask myself the question: How many fifty cm um, cubes or sides um, can I fit along the edges? 
So for this case, along the length, I can put two of them. Along the width, I can put two of them. And the height, I can put two of them. So in other words, the number of 50 cm cubes that I can put in this one meter cube box is actually eight of them. It's two times two times two. Okay, this is actually the logical reasoning way of solving this problem. Okay, so eight of them. Okay, moving on to the next page. Uh, okay, so now we are on capacity, which is very much related to volume. Okay, things that you need to know is actually the conversion of units. So 1,000 meter uh, milliliters is 1 liter, 1,000 liter is 1 kiloliter, and 1 million liters is 1 megaliter. So 1,000 kiloliters is actually 1 megaliter. As you can see, you know, they are all related with you know three zeros. So uh, just bear that in mind. Later on, again, I will be touching on this again. So uh, you are required to again make a guess on you know, what is the measurement that you use for each of this item here for medicine. Yeah, we will use ML. That's right. Laundry basket in terms of liters, coffee mug in terms of ml, a dam will be megaliters oh, because a dam can hold a lot of water. A backyard pool, uh, to be honest, it should be between kiloliters and megaliters because depending on how big is the pool. Okay, a large soft, a soft drink will be in liters and rainwater tank will be in terms of kiloliters normally. Okay. And then again, I want to touch on the conversion. So all of us are familiar with this. 1,000 milliliters is 1 liter. Okay. So, and 1,000 liter is 1 kiloliter. And 1 million liters is 1 megaliter. And 1,000 kiloliters is 1 megaliter. So again, use the conversion. Okay, always remember, you see, milliliters to liters is just between these two. So there are three zeros. You just have to away three zeros that's how you get five so again a sm smaller to the bigger unit so again there are three zeros again I divide by a thousand a smaller unit to a bigger unit again it's a thousand so I would like you to solve all of this on your own okay and then compare your answer with yours uh, with mine and yours okay so do mark your work accordingly so moving on to problem solving questions. Okay, they say, um, I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm going to give you some hint okay, to solve these problems. So these are the hints. Okay, they say a pool is being filled at a rate of 5,000 liters per minute. How many kiloliters will the pool contain after 30 minutes? So first and foremost, you need to find out how many liters of water will there be in the pool after 30 minutes. So it's just 30 times this, isn't it? So then the answer is in terms of liters, and from there you need to convert it into kiloliters. That's right. Some of you are saying, well, the relationship between liters and kiloliters is 1,000 liters is 1 kiloliter. So that's right. You just need to divide by 1,000 to get your answer in terms of kiloliters. The next one is say, how many 5 liters containers can be filled from a water reservoir holding 20 kiloliters? So you got to convert 20 kiloliters into liters, and then from there, you divide by 5. That's right, you need to work with the same unit in order to solve the problem. And last but not least, they say, what's the difference in capacity between the community pool, which is 1 megaliter, uh, and the backyard pool is 9,000 liters. So you have to convert 1 megaliter into kiloliters, and then from kiloliters, you need to change to liters. Okay, remember the relationship? One megaliter is one million liters. That's right. And then from there, you can find the difference between the two capacity. Got it, everyone? Okay, do it well. Use a calculator to help you to solve this problem you need me. Okay, do complete uh, page 143 and 131 in your student book. If you have any issue, drop me a message on Teams. Okay, bye-bye.